Imagine for a moment the future of humanity, not just a few years or even a few decades, but thousands of years from now. What might that future look like? Welcome back again on board of our science cruiser. Today's journey begins with a concept that might seem like science fiction today, but could be a tangible reality in the distant future. We're talking about a type two civilization. As we explained it in the previous video, this is a scale proposed by the Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev, which measures a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy it is able to use. A type two civilization in particular is one that has achieved a level of advancement where it can harness the entire energy of its parent star and has control over its solar system. So, when might we reach this stage? While it's hard to pin down a definitive timeline, some estimates suggest that it could take anywhere between a few thousands to tens of thousands of years, a period which might look like an eternity on a human life scale, but just a glimpse on the universe's timeline. But let's not get too caught up in the when. Instead, let's focus on the what. What might it mean for us as a species to become a type two civilization? The possibilities are as limitless as the stars themselves. We could develop technologies that are beyond our wildest dreams today. We could explore the farthest reaches of the universe. So let's dive into the future and explore what if humans became a type two civilization? Here's some scientists' predictions on what a type two civilization might look like. Imagine a future where we master technology beyond our wildest dreams today, where we shape our own destiny, not just on Earth, but across the cosmos. So let's dive into the future and explore. What if humans became a type two civilization? First, the technology of a Dyson Sphere. We would have complete mastery over our sun's energy. Imagine harnessing the power of a star, the same force that has fueled life on Earth for millions of years. This is the concept of a Dyson Sphere, an immense hypothetical megastructure that surrounds a star and harnesses its power. A Dyson Sphere is a marvel of engineering, a testament to the ingenuity of a type two civilization. It's not a solid shell, but rather a swarm of solar collectors, a cloud of satellites, each one absorbing and transmitting energy back to our planet. The power provided by a Dyson sphere is almost unfathomable. Our sun releases more energy in a single second than humanity has used throughout its entire existence. By harnessing even a fraction of that energy, we could power our cities, our machines, our dreams for centuries to come. This mastery over energy would revolutionize our world. No longer would we rely on dwindling fossil fuels or controversial nuclear power. We wouldn't have to worry about the environmental impact of our energy production. We could focus our efforts on innovation, exploration, and improving the quality of life for all. But remember, a Dyson Sphere is not just about power. It's about our place in the universe, our transition from planetary to stellar species. Second, teleportation or matter transmission. Highly speculative, but a type two civilization might develop technologies to transmit matter across vast distances instantaneously effectively teleporting objects or individuals from one point in space to another. One theoretical approach to teleportation is based on the principles of quantum teleportation, which involves the transfer of quantum states between particles separated by large distances. In a type two civilization, scientists might advance this concept to teleport larger objects, such as spacecraft or even humans, by precisely encoding their quantum states and reconstructing them at a distant location. To achieve teleportation on such a scale, several key challenges would need to be addressed. The first one would be quantum entanglement. Teleportation relies on the phenomenon of quantum entanglement, 
where particles become correlated in such a way that the state of one particle instantaneously influences the state of another, regardless of the distance separating them. Developing reliable methods for creating and preserving entangled states over long distances would be essential. After that, we might have to deal with quantum computing. Quantum computers capable of performing complex calculations with qubits, the basic units of quantum information, would be indispensable for encoding and decoding the quantum states of teleportation. Advancements in quantum computing technology would be necessary to handle the immense amount of data involved in teleporting macroscopic objects. But let's not forget about energy requirements. Teleportation would likely demand staggering amounts of energy, both for the encoding process at the departure point and the reconstruction process at the destination. A Type II civilization would need to develop highly efficient energy generation methods, possibly drawing on the virtually limitless energy of their star to power teleportation systems. Third, interstellar travel. Interstellar travel could be developed in many ways. One of them is advanced propulsion systems. Humans could develop propulsion systems far more efficient than anything currently conceivable. This might involve technology such as antimatter propulsion, fusion rockets, or even harnessing the energy of the star itself for propulsion, like using massive solar sails propelled by lasers or plasma thrusters powered by energy harvested from the star. For large distance travel, we could use wormhole manipulation. Theoretical physics suggests the existence of wormholes, hypothetical shortcuts through space-time that could potentially connect distant points in the universe. A Type II civilization might find ways to manipulate or stabilize wormholes for safe traversal, possibly through exotic matter or energy manipulation. Another method might be developing generation ships. While still a significant technological challenge, a Type II civilization might construct massive generation ships capable of sustaining large populations over centuries-long journeys to distant stars. These ships would need to be self-sufficient ecosystems, powered by advanced energy sources and equipped with recycling systems to sustain life indefinitely. Lastly, relativistic travel. With advancements in energy generation, humans might achieve velocities approaching the speed of light. While this would require incredible amounts of energy and face significant relativistic effects, such as time dilation, it could enable journeys to nearby star systems within a single human lifespan from the perspective of travelers. Fourth, colonization of planets. The vastness of space would no longer be an obstacle. Imagine a future where our civilization, powered by nearly limitless energy, could traverse the cosmos as easily as we cross the street today. Bound by the confines of our planet no more, humanity would spread its wings and venture into the great unknown. With abundant energy, we could overcome the tremendous gravitational forces that keep us grounded making space travel not just possible, but commonplace. The dream of colonizing and populating other planets would no longer be a dream, but a reality within our grasp. Mars, Venus, or even the distant exoplanets orbiting faraway stars could become our new homes, our new frontiers. And what about faster than light travel? It might sound like science fiction today, but with the power of a Type II civilization at our disposal, the laws of physics might be bent to our will. We could potentially warp the very fabric of space-time, creating wormholes, which are shortcuts through the cosmos, turning interstellar distances into mere steps. In this future, our planet would be just one of many homes, we would be a multi-planetary species, not just surviving, but thriving in the vastness of space. The stars would no longer be distant points of light, but destinations waiting for us to arrive. Fifth, 
the convergence of neuroscience and technology. This brain tech fusion would become reality. Individual human brains would seamlessly fuse into a collective intelligence, working in perfect harmony. Imagine a world where the boundaries between minds blur and consciousness transcends individuality to form a unified cognitive network. Moreover, we would see unprecedented advancements of technology. Artificial intelligence would not just be just a tool, but an integral part of our daily life. AI could govern traffic systems, manage resources, and even provide personalized education, making our lives more efficient and sustainable. Nanotechnology, on the other hand, might revolutionize manufacturing, medicine, and environmental conservation. Picture a world where we can manipulate matter on an atomic level, creating materials and devices with unprecedented precision and functionality. We could build skyscrapers in a day, cure diseases at their roots, and clean our environment atom by atom. Then there's quantum computing, a game changer in the world of data processing. Quantum computers could solve complex problems in seconds that would take our current supercomputers millions of years. This could lead to groundbreaking advancements in fields like cryptography, climate modeling, and drug discovery. Now, let's think about how these technologies might change our daily life. Our homes could be self-sustaining, powered by renewable energy and maintained by AI. Our cars could be self-driving, communicating with each other to avoid congestion. Our health could be monitored in real time, with nanobots detecting and treating illnesses before they become serious. And all the while, quantum computers would be working in the background, optimizing every aspect of our society. The devices we use today would seem as primitive as stone tools to a Type II civilization. Sixth, defying death. We could potentially conquer diseases and maybe even death. Now, let's delve into the fascinating realm of longevity and health in a Type II civilization. With abundant energy and advanced technology at our disposal, the landscape of health and medicine would be transformed beyond recognition. We could see the advent of genetic engineering becoming commonplace, allowing use to not only cure genetic disorders, but also to enhance our physical and cognitive abilities. Imagine being able to augment your strength, intelligence, or even your lifespan through simple genetic modifications. In this era, personalized medicine could become the norm rather than the exception. With a thorough understanding of our individual genetic makeup, treatments could be tailored specifically for each person, maximizing effectiveness and minimizing side effects. Additionally, the field of regenerative medicine could reach unprecedented heights. We could potentially grow organs in labs or even regenerate them within our bodies, making organ transplants obsolete. This could give a new lease of life to millions of people worldwide suffering from organ failure. But perhaps the most tantalizing prospect is the potential to conquer aging. With advances in understanding the biology of aging, we could potentially halt or even reverse the aging process. Imagine a world where old age and its associated ailments are things of the past. In a type two civilization, forever young could be more than just a phrase. Seventh, planetary engineering. Type two civilizations could possess the ability to terraform planets making them habitable for human life, or altering their environments to suit specific needs, which could aid in colonization efforts or mitigate environmental challenges. We would have the power to control our environment. Imagine a world where droughts, floods, and hurricanes are a thing of the past. In a type two civilization, we'd have the potential to control the weather. No more unexpected rain on your picnic day or snow disrupting your morning commute. And it's not just about convenience. The implications for agriculture are profound. We could create optimal conditions for crops year-round, 
increasing food production, and perhaps even ending world hunger. But that's not all. We'd also have the potential for terraforming, the process of modifying a planet's environment to make it habitable. Think of transforming Mars or Venus into a second Earth, with blue skies, green fields, and oceans teeming with life. Could we create new homes for humanity across the cosmos? Of course, with such power comes responsibility. Controlling the environment could have unforeseen consequences for the planet's ecosystems. We would need to ensure we preserve biodiversity and maintain the balance of nature. It's not about conquering Mother Nature, but partnering with her, understanding her intricate systems, and working in harmony for the benefit of all life on Earth and beyond. In a Type II civilization, the weather forecast might be a thing of the past, replaced with a weather control schedule. And we might not just be Earthlings, but Martians, Venusians, or even inhabitants of worlds yet undiscovered. In a Type II civilization, Mother Nature might have some competition. Lastly, the pursuit of knowledge. Imagine a world where learning is not limited by physical books or traditional classrooms. As we move towards becoming a Type II civilization, we'd see a revolution in education and research thanks to advanced artificial intelligence and technology. Consider a future where the human mind can interface directly with vast digital libraries. Information would be as accessible as thoughts, and learning would become as natural as breathing. With AI-assisted education, every person would have the opportunity to unlock their full potential, regardless of their circumstances. Moreover, advanced AI could lead to unprecedented breakthroughs in research complex problems that now take years, even decades to solve, could be unraveled in moments. We could gain insights into the deepest mysteries of the universe, from the nature of dark matter to the origins of life itself. Furthermore, with the ability to simulate entire ecosystems or even galaxies, we could test theories and predictions in ways currently unimaginable. This would not only accelerate scientific progress, but also help us make informed decisions about our journey towards becoming a Type II civilization. In this future, knowledge would be the currency and the desire to learn the greatest wealth. The power to know, understand, and innovate would be in everyone's grasp. In a Type II civilization, ignorance would be the only true poverty. So, what do you think could you see yourself living in a Type II civilization? As a Type II civilization, we would be a beacon in the galaxy, potentially attracting the attention of other advanced civilizations. While we may not reach this stage for many millennia, it's an exciting prospect to consider. As we come to the end of our journey aboard the science cruiser, we invite you to consider the possibilities that lie ahead for humanity from the marvels of a Type II civilization to the convergence of neuroscience and technology, the future is filled with promise and potential. So don't forget to leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Like and subscribe to join our trips and to stay updated on all our latest adventures.